Hey yo, peace, peace, peace. It's your brother Josh coming at you with um, a breakdown of Team Osiris or the one soul infinitely resurrecting in spirit. So basically if you believe Team Osiris has the truth, you're doomed. You're a dead man and you might as well just kill yourself, um, you know, because Team Osiris, right, take the R away, put the I, right, Team Isis is uh, pretty much on the forefront of Isis recruitment and um, bringing in the Medes and the Persians, uh, pretty much just like what the scripture says. So, you know, you, if, you, if you believe Team Osiris, then you're pretty much doomed. Uh, and that's it. You know, everyone wants to be serious, right? Osiris wants to be serious. As serious as possible with the hieroglyphs, right? The crouching man their 80s cell phone, their eye, you know what I mean? Yet for some reason, they venerate the eye, right? And the eye can be plucked out. You know that, right? Your eye can be plucked out. In fact, both of your eyes can be, pl can be plucked out. Now let's talk about the center of the eye, the pitch, right? The pitch dark. For some reason, these brothers don't seem to want to be outright and forthright about the pitch dark and how nothing is where everything becomes, right? So, us who believe in Yahweh, or Torah only, teachings only based, Yashara, right? We know we come from nothing. And so-called sciences come from nothing, Right? as principalities so we know about Osiris you know it's no fluke that I got a vision about mm, seven years ago that um, I should get a tattoo of Osiris burning up and in great pain and uh, now Fruition-wise, I give thanks to Yahweh for allowing me to see why that tattoo was gotten. So, your team Osiris here, one soul infinitely, right? So, if you want to be part of the infinite, the infinity, right? And the infinity crew, you'll be down with team Osiris, Right? And it should be no, it should be no, uh, you know, fluke for these flukies. They have the most prominent member is a guy named Ngozi. And, but Ngozi was hailing how at 17 and 18 he w became, he was a master mason. And joined the lodge at 17 and 18. So that should tell you a lot right there. About what this team is pushing. And um, you know. You can find that in that video at 3148. Ngozi himself said he pushes evolution. And he's scientific to the core. But his background is Islamic tenets. Brothers and sisters, you should know what that is. Right? Ishmaelite. So you should already know that just like the good tendencies are within these brothers, also the bad tendencies are within these brothers. Just like Yasharal, the good tendencies of Yasharal is what? Giving thanks and praises to Yahweh, you know, following the Torah, bringing the offerings to the Most High, 
and living in the spirit of the Kadash Rawah. You know, so that you may shine to others as an example of things stated. Right? So, what can your life in Team Osiris be? See, Team Osiris will want you to believe they're not just about Egypt or Mitzrayim, as we would say, Masaram, right? And they would say, we're about Africa, we're about Africa, 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 the motherland, right? It's not a physical place only, it's a spiritual place, right? But look at what's going on around the so-called globe, the so-called land masses, and you could see exactly what influence Africa is having on the globe, right? Should Africa so-called be akin to the whore of Babylon? Hmm. Am I saying that Africa is Babylon the Great? No. Because those of you who really understand allegorically, so to speak, about Babylon the Great, you will understand it's not just one place, but it is a state that is worldwide, secular-wide, right? So don't be scared, right? And don't be like taking yourself so seriously because you just set yourself up for destruction, or you can just join Team Osiris and be a soul infinitely resurrecting in spirit. So that means that the spirit, so-called, that Team Osiris is worshipping, infinitely destroys them and resurrects them. Brings them back. But you can find that same thing in so-called reincarnation. Right? So, you know, we're going to continue on in a second. All right. So just like our scripture says, the Most High sits in the heavens and laughs because Team Osiris is just going to do the same thing that the so-called white man is doing. In fact, where Team Osiris gets all their ideas from is the so-called white man. Even if the, the person that they're talking about is dark-skinned, it's still the so-called white man. Because these brothers are trapped in, first of all, they're trapped in the English language, and English dialogue, right? And second of all, the language that they are going into, they claim to be metaphysical dialogue, right? But they haven't never proven that. How long has so-called the Amin Ra squad and the House of Khans, who, mind you, are filled with all the same members? They're all the same members. They're all a phallus member. They're all Osiris's missing phallus. Right? The phallus is looking for its body. How about that? Is that crazy? <laughs> So, of course, they're filled with Moors from Morocco, all ancient history, Sub-Saharan Africans, you know what I'm saying? They are, um, you know, Ethiopians, they're Kushites, they're Hamites, they're theologians, they're everything they are, everything except Caucasian. You notice how all these so-called Egyptians and scholars and so-called black scholars are everything but Caucasian. They act like they're everything but the so-called white man. Why not accept that the so-called white man got everything from you and is right now living out what it is you exactly want to live out? Why not just admit that? Yet they want to come with some so-called knowledge, and all they're doing is creating an economic plan for you. I don't see why y'all can't see that. Everything that these so-called brothers and sisters in the conscious community, or are affiliated with the conscious community, are just building economic plans for you. Yet they claim that 
they're not here to save the world, right? But who are they here to save? Are they here to save just dark-skinned people? Are they here to save um, their community from poverty? Sure, but at what cost? See, the thing is, none of y'all can see where it ends. You only see the beginning. They have you trapped infinitely in a project. That's the problem. Whenever you're infinitely doing something, you can't see the end or you can't see the beginning. When you're at the end, you don't know how you got there. You see? That's the problem with infinite. But they're not going to tell you about eternal, right? If you get into eternal, then you have to get into the realm of Yahweh, right? The so-called subconscious, right? Like Lex Vortex likes to bite and say that he came up, man, I've been saying we should be, we should be subconscious rather than conscious. Yet he comes with all this bullshit Kabbalah, bullshit Gnosis or Gnostics. You know what I'm saying? Baal shit, right? So just don't let brothers, so-called brothers and sisters fool you. If you want to get down with an economic plan and you want to make some more money and you want to just, you know, raise something economically, then... And, and call it spiritually raising something, then by any means. But the deal is, you don't have to go to Team Osiris to do that. You can just go to the so-called white man. He's got plenty, plenty of things that are set up economically for you to get into without having to front like it's something spiritual. You know it's about money. Yet these brothers will have you going to all kinds of carnival rides of twists and turns of knowledge. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. But, they, but what is the thing that they lack? They don't acknowledge the Most High. They'll say that the Most High is just an English word or the Most High can't be fully comprehended or spoken about in the realm of activity. But that's a lie. You know, because as Yasharal, we represent the Most High, who is Yahweh. And you hear us. You hear me. So what kind of points can they, can they really bring up? You know, y'all need to seek out some of these brothers on here who are going in and bringing you Yahweh alone. You know, y'all need to seek them brothers out. Don't seek them brothers out there who claim to come in the name of Yahweh, but they say they come in the name of Yahweh Shai. They say in the name of Yahweh Shai, who speaks for Yahweh. Because if anybody is a spiritual person and you read the so called New Testament and you read as if the so called Jesus, or whom we call the Torah teacher, if you, if you consider Jesus the Torah teacher, to be the ineffable, then you're going to go off, man. Only Yahweh is ineffable and omnipotent. You know? Pardon me, I like to sometimes, you know, omnipotent. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. But, yeah, this is just a little rant. You know, Timo Cyrus, Moors, Moabites. Just open up your scriptures. You can read about the Moabites. Moabites fell beneath the feet of Yasharal, and they'll continue to do so. Nothing's going to change. If Yahweh allows any other nations to gain footholds in this world, in this globe, it's because he allowed it. But there's a reason behind it. If you don't know the strategy behind why Yahweh is doing something, just pray. Pray to know the answer. If it's beneficial for you, Yahweh will reveal it to you. If you have faith, do you have faith in Yahweh? Hmm. I know that Yahweh has never let me down. Sure, there's times when I just I'm not what they call what we call consciously. I'm not aware of Yahweh's plan. But blessed be, I'm just a son of man, and a son of man is not going to know, know the whole plan, especially Yahweh's whole plan. Because we don't have the mind of Yahweh. 
yet we are blessed by what he reveals to us through wisdom because she loves us you know read anywhere in there in the scriptures about wisdom you know wisdom will guide you and will always lead you back to Yahweh or Yah right will always lead you back to the right hand of Yahweh you know Hmm. Or do you know? Do you know? So what? You're going to learn a lot of science? So what? Timo Cyrus? They're, they're just going to lead you into the same thing that the so-called white man is leading you. Right. You're going to be down with them and then they're going to talk about, hey man, we're going to build a pyramid like Dr. York. Remember that? The new Wobbians building pyramids where's dr york at right now whether he did what he did or not he's there and no one can deny that right so look at i mean just look at it look at what's going on around you if you see what's going on all around you then you will see the hand of yahweh at work in unifying his people under his name his glorious name alone you will see that. Can you see that? Or are you looking for your gouged out eyes? Are you looking for Osiris? Why don't y'all just leave Osiris buried? But no, the brothers want to resurrect Osiris. And they're working towards that goal. But that goal is already in place. Your new world order, so-called, is just resurrecting Osiris. Your science and CERN and portal openings and Owaspi Bibles and are just resurrecting Osiris. They want Nimrod back. They want to build the tower. They want you to meditate. And they want you to get in contact with your Kundalini spirit. Right? They want you to siphon the the spinal nervous system of the earth they want you to tap into that so they can use it you see how demons work they'll never tell you that's what they're doing but Yahweh knows oh what you forgot Yahweh knows all things huh <clears throat> damn shame it's a damn shame and if you never knew Yahweh knows all things then you're not Yasharal you're not even part of Yahweh's nation. So just be prepared. Be prepared to give everything you've worked hard in your life. Give it back to the, to the children of Israel, the true ch children of Israel. Yeah, we're going to take over the land again. All those lands. You hold sacred Africa, it's going to be all the children of Israel's plan. Right? Remember? Remember what your so-called Africans did when one of the Hebrews was sitting on the throne and ruling so-called Africa? What was his name? Haile Selassie? Yeah, I bet you y'all didn't know that, did you? That Haile Selassie was going to unite Africa and unite the countries of Africa. And Haile Selassie was a Hebrew. Oh, yeah. Y'all don't like to hear that, do you? But what happened to him? The Hamites, that's what happened to him. They built a coup. You know? And now what happened? His children are prince and princesses in exile. And it takes no further than just to look at the Ethiopian flag. It used to have the Lion of Judah symbol on it. What does it have on it now? The same thing you can see on a, on a Moorish flag. It has the star, right? The five-pointed star. In the middle of the five-pointed star is the Pentagon. The Pentagon is so-called the military base of the United States. If you want to get out for a workout, you can just jog around the White House Monument. Or the phallus of Osiris at the White House, right? 
So, so why is it that you would follow Team Osiris, but you don't want to follow the United States government? The United States government is Team Osiris. Oh, you wasn't able to peep that, huh? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't know everything. But what I get as far as revelations go from the Kadash Rawat or from the Holy Spirit of Yahweh, which I don't deserve. Because, yes, I am a sinner, but I'm not a Christian. I'm not going to tell you to worship Jesus Christ, so-called. And, then, you know, the whole funny flipped out thing about all of it is the white man, so-called, is actually the black man. And the so-called black man is actually the white man. If you would consider yourself white, as the scriptures would have it, let's put parentheses in a positive light, quote unquote, then you will understand that white is actually righteous, like white linen. It means something pure, purified by the spirit of Yahweh. But if you want to be black, that means something ignorant, void of knowledge and understanding, in the dark. Where no light is, blind, right? Leaning upon a wall, your hand go into a hole in the wall and a serpent will bite you. As it say, states in Ezekiel, right? So, you know, this is just your brother Ja, Shh, just here to provide some encouragement for all you brothers out there who may be using YouTube to seek knowledge and understanding. Hey, man. Pray for some discernment before you jump into all these sites, man. Because a lot of people are going to talk a good game. But us Southern folk, or I say Southern Judah, we understand about game talk down here in the South. It's all game. Brothers want to come and they want to be talking about knowledge. They're trying to sell you knowledge. But if you really want to get knowledge, you need to seek wisdom. Just like it says in Proverbs. How do you think so-called King Solomon, right? Solar man, <laughs> King Solomon was so wise. How do you think that was? Because he prayed to Yahweh first of all, and Yahweh, Yahweh granted him wisdom. But look what happened when he fell away from wisdom. Went right back into idol worship. Went right back into into worshiping that phallus of Osiris. He joined Team Osiris. And he became an infinite person, constantly dying and be constantly waking up and constantly going back to being ignorant, all in the pursuit of knowledge. But I'm here to tell you, in Yahweh, you'll stay fully woke. That's right. Even though your physical body sleeps, you'll be fully woke. But you don't have to believe me. You just have to seek, right? So, in the spirit of Yahweh, calm Yashara, peace and blessings to the family out there, and peace and blessings to you Timo Syrians, who are so serious. Y'all need to come back to the spirit of Yahweh before it's too late, so you can leave something for your generations, rather than having to give it up to the children of Israel, or the children of Yashara. Right? I'm just warning you. I know y'all want to have a stake in the future, but it sure doesn't look like it. And King Dawad, he's not going to play none of the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just better know that right now. Somebody messed up in the scriptures and said branch when it should have said root. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all.